like a bird's love song. A song that rings through the winding branches of life, down the rivers of pain, and over the pebbles of solitude. Love and death are similar in ways that they are uncontrollable, in ways that it overpowers. Death comes unexpectedly, sometimes like love. When you lose someone, it's unbelievable and utterly surreal. The news is uproot the news is like uprooting a tree that has lived by a river for years. Oxygen, not good for its roots, put through shock. Our brain rejects the information your body will reject for an object. Our heart denies the news with hope that it isn't true. Maybe this denial comes from deep-rooted love for that person. Guilt can be so heavy, so heavy, that it weighs down a mourning person. The way that love in a toxic and tonic relationship is endured through self-guilt Self-examination, our life, self-examination of our life is brought to our eyes. Never question that voice in the back of your head. The urging feeling in your stomach, the feeling so strong that it makes your body shiver. The feeling burning within your heart, like a bird's love song, that guilt will move on. Death brings about anger. Anger because that person was taken far too soon. Because that person was taken under tragic circumstances. Because that person's death was not given justice. But like a bird's love song, it soothes. If a bird's love song is sung to no one at all, it is depressing. When your heart skips a beat, and you hold your breath because it's going to be okay. Death is depressing because you've lost someone. When you lose someone who's made an impact on you, when it's a family member or a friend, it doesn't matter who it is because in some way you've shared your life with them. The death of a believer of a higher power is bittersweet like the way moonflowers blossom and die. Yeah. Sweet in that there is hope, hope to see them again. Bitter because we miss them for now. But like a bird's love song, it's through our love that our hope is carried. 